Hi everyone and welcome to the VMD Crash Course for Beginners. Today we will learn together how to compute the number of hydrogen atoms in a given system, which could be a PDB structure of a protein or a DCD trajectory of, of a protein dynamics resulted from a molecular dynamics simulation. So in this video, we will have a general idea of the concept of hydrogen bond from the general chemistry textbooks. And we will introduce the hydrogen bond computing plugin introduced by VMD. And then we're going to apply uh, the, the calculation into a trajectory, short trajectory from molecular dynamic simulation. So the basic concept of hydrogen bond is the electronegativity of atoms in a covalent bond. So as you remember from high school or from undergrad general chemistry books, that the electronegativity of an atom or an ion is its ability to pull the electrons toward itself in a covalent bond. So if you have a covalent bond between a hydrogen and oxygen, and oxygen is, is higher than the hydrogen, the oxygen will attract or withdraw the electrons toward itself and leave the hydrogen partially positive. And here the ranking of the atoms that have the higher uh, electronegativity, as you know, fluor has the highest electronegativity. And generally, the atoms that have uh, the atoms that have the high electronegativity are in the top right corner of the periodic table. So, by definition, hydrogen bonds are non-covalent bonds that occur when a donor atom donates its covalently bonded hydrogen atom to an electronegative electronegative acceptor atom. I don't like definitions. Let's have a look at the atoms. So here we have uh, two water molecules. Here we have the oxygen, which is more electronegative than the hydrogen. So it withdraw the electrons from here to form a partially negative charge and leave the, the protein, the weak electronegative uh, atom, partially positive. And here, since we created a partially positive charge, it will interact with highly negative, uh, partially negative charge and form the hydrogen bond interaction. The hydrogen bond is not stronger than the ionic bond or covalent bond, but their strength comes from their number. Many hydrogen bonds can, can form a, a strong network or strong network of small hydrogen bonds that really could affect the system, and this we will understand in, in, in the process. So, this is for the general uh, hydrogen bond between atoms, like water. But since we are biochemists, or we are interested in proteins, so let's think. Which part of a protein could form a hydrogen bond? If we have a side chain of, of, of hydroxyl group, which is in serine, tyrosine, or whatever, of course it has a, an oxygen atom, and of course it will form a hydrogen bond with another amino acid or with another solvent molecule like water. Also the nitrogen in the it's a side chain in lysine and arginine, also able to form hydrogen bond. and the NH in the many chain peptide bond and as a side chain in tryptophan, histidine, arginine can also form hydrogen bond. So hydrogen bonds are important in our protein structure. And also what I mean by important, it's a measure of the protein stability. So there is a nice book that uh, classify the hydrogen bond into three classes, weak, moderate, strong. And as a computational chemist, you should know this because it classifies them according to the distance. So let's say we have a, a distance between the hydrogen bond donor and acceptor, uh, which is 2.2 to 2.5. He classified them to strong hydrogen bond. And this is normal. The closer you are, the stronger you will be. And a covalent bond, which is, uh, sorry, a hydrogen bond, which is 2.5 to 3.8, is moderate and uh, 3.2 to 4 is going to be weak. So in protein, we don't have that very strong hydrogen bond. We have the, uh, the moderate hydrogen bond because the very strong hydrogen bond needs a conditions which is very rare in, in the protein. As you see, here is the an alpha helix of a protein, and you see the, the many hydrogen bonds, many intramolecular hydrogen bonds within this structure. 
So they play a very important role in the stability of the world. So let's go to the computational side of this video, which is VMD plugin to compute the number of hydrogen bombs. So let's see how VMD developer developers define the hydrogen bond. They say hydrogen bond is formed between an atom with a hydrogen bonded to it. So this is called our donor. We will we will refer to it as D. And another atom, which is the acceptor, and we will refer them as A, provided that the distance DA is less than the cutoff distance. By default, it's three, which is strong or quite moderate uh, hydrogen bond. And the angle DHA is less than the cutoff, which is by default also 20 degrees, which is quite, quite restrictive. So VMD will let you the decide on this uh, on this cutoff distance. For example, if I want to calculate the hydrogen bond of my system and I put off the I put the, the cutoff distance of three angles strong and I put the angle cutoff to 20 degrees and I saw nothing. And this may be because you, you have weak hydrogen bond. It's outside this threshold. So what you can do is to increase this three angle strom to four, for example, and increase this angle to to, for example, to 100 or 120 or whatever, you you can optimize them. Let's, let me get some coffee. Cool. And this 20 degrees was very confusing for me and for many people. You'll find many discussions on the research gate or VMD mailing list because most of the research papers say that in the ideal hydrogen atom cut of distance should be uh, 120 degrees. But the VMD developers think, think in this way, and this is what I understood. If you see me wrong, please comment and, and let me know. They think that the, the hydrogen degree angle looks like this. It's the angle between the donor, hydrogen, and the, 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 the acceptor. So like the, 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 the lower it will be, the stronger the interaction it will be. But if it's bigger, I mean, imagine that there's a line here. I should draw in it. But now it's a PDF presentation. Anyway, so... The angle, if this angle is getting bigger, so the, the distance is increasing and the interaction is getting weaker. So if you make this 15, it's going to be very, very restrictive and will give you the very strong atom, which is very, it could be very rare. So this is the concept of this. The plugin is very easy. We also have the command line interface, but since we have a graphical user interface, so it's easier. Here you choose your molecule. Here you choose the first selection, which is called, pro, is called be a protein. And the second one is optional. If you keep it empty, it will calculate the number of hydrogen bonds in the protein structure, intramolecular hydrogen bond. If you choose to, to write protein here in the first selection and water in the second selection, so you are calculating the number between of hydrogen bonds between the, the protein and, and, and water. And here you decide on the frame number, and here uh, you decide which polar atoms. You can choose only the polar atom, atoms or whatever. This is what you will decide based on your research research question. Cool. And here you can plot immediately your output file, or you can write an output file to hydrogen bond dot that file or text file, and then you place file. So this is very cool. Now we know the concept behind the hydrogen bond, and if you're still very confused, you should get back to your first year general chemistry book. And if you want to read more about the documentation of this plugin, you can get to the VMT website. So let's apply what we learned now into a short, very, very short molecular dynamic simulation trajectory. So let me get out of this presentation and go to VMD. And I will have my PSF file. Cool. Here is that. And my short uh, trajectory. It's kind of 14 frames. And to open the plugin, you should go to extensions, analysis, and hydrogen bonds. Cool. Here's my molecules because it's already loaded into VMD. And here, protein. And here, all the frames because it's very short and here I will keep it like three angstrom and 20. I will follow the default uh, cutoff distance or angle for VMD. And this is also a very nice option. You can calculate the details informations for your hydrogen bond. 
I choose none. You can make it for the unique hydrogen bond or all hydrogen bond, whatever. And you can write an output file. I will not do so because I don't need it. It's just for tutorial. And but I will just plot it. So let's say find my hydrogen bond. Yeah. So I had 172 hydrogen bond and start to drop as the simulation go. So this is the hydrogen bond in my protein. Let's say protein and solvent. Or before we go to protein and solvent, let's check if I, it was 172. Let's check if I increase the cutoff distance into four and increase this to 120. What I'm expecting is it will increase the number of hydrogen bonds. You see, <laughs> 16, oh, 16,600. This is too much, but this is very weak. I mean, you are letting everyone pass from your threshold. Okay. So now we got the point. So I will get back to the default restrictive threshold of VMD and I will say three angstrom and 20. And I will say protein and solvent, for example. I have a solvent. It might be water or whatever. And let's say find the hydrogen bond. Yeah, 350 and goes down. Okay, by the end of the trajectory. Here are the frames and the, the number of hydrogen bond. Okay. Also, we can use the, in the selection, you can use the cool language of VND that I like. You can say protein and surface. Yeah. So this is the number of hydrogen bond between the surface residue of the protein and the solvent. You can say protein and not surface. So this will be the core residues interaction with the solvent. And this will give you higher or lower hydrogen bond. I think, yeah, lower number of hydrogen bonds. Let's get sure. Yeah, 45, because those are the core uh, uh, residues which is are not accessible to the solvent so they are they have no many interactions let me get some coffee again okay so i mean you can choose uh, in, in the language you can say res id 100 100 to 150 yeah you can say uh, whatever protein and name whatever C alpha or etc. So this will depend on your research question. So that's it for today. And if you have any questions, uh, write it in the comments and let's open some discussions. And if you calculate your hydrogen bond with different tools, Share it with us and let us know, I mean, the difference between VMD and the rest. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like and share. Uh, I mean, this give, gives me a lot of um, energy to go on despite this very tight schedule of PhD. And thank you and uh, be safe. Bye-bye.